Hi, Steve here at the SJCOE Fab Lab with some Legos. We've built some Lego contraptions and you can build some too. Uh, these were made with our Lego Spike Prime set. Notice uh, each of these has a handle and when the handle moves one gear, it causes another gear to move. So here we go. I've got a small gear moving a large gear also have a very large gear moving a relatively small gear. How are these two situations different? In other words, what we end up seeing is something called mechanical advantage. This large gear, well every time that it goes around once, the tiny gear goes around a lot of times. This smaller gear, every one time that it goes around, this slightly larger gear doesn't go around a full time. Uh, you can kind of think about it by looking at the number of teeth. So, do you ride a bicycle? Do you ride a bicycle that has gears that you can shift up and down? You might not drive, but maybe your parents or someone in your life who drives you around has a car that has a stick shift, and so they need to change gears. Well, go ahead, build something that has one gear moving another gear, and consider how does the way we set up gears change what happens to motion. There's a few different ways that gears can be set up. Go ahead, build something with gears, test it out, and have fun.